Well, our nation's manufacturing sector lost over 2 million jobs during the recent recession, prompting many to wonder if any of those jobs would ever come back. And despite such dire predictions of manufacturing's demise, that sector of our economy has proven to be one of the first bright spots when it comes to rehiring. More on that a little later in our show. But first, we want to take you to an Oklahoma company that is a good example of how local manufacturing can not only survive in a global marketplace, but thrive right here in the heartland. Our Courtney Dehoff takes us to Pelco Products Incorporated in Edmond, Oklahoma. We know the colors well. Green, yellow, red. And an Oklahoma company is dedicated to making the parts that makes traffic safer. Mark Nash is the operations manager at Pelco in Edmond, Oklahoma. Pelco Products is a manufacturer of traffic signal hardware, ornamental lighting, and utility brackets and, and special utility applications. Um, we are the largest manufacturer of traffic signal hardware anywhere in the country. And what that really means is we manufacture everything you see at a controlled intersection except the signal light, the traffic light itself, and the controller sitting in that cabinet over on the side of the road. We do the mast arms, the poles, the brackets that hold the lights up, push buttons, signage, um, lights, ornamental lighting. Lighting streets and neighborhoods for over 25 years, Pelco truly outshines the competition. It's an interesting business because it, it is a niche market, but at the same time, um, we do something that the competition doesn't do, and that's we tackle every aspect of the, the bracketry. We rely on what we call innovation, quality, and service. We've even gotten to the point where the competition calls us looking for solutions from time to time. We're very open with our um, operations. Operations that aren't just about manufacturing lights, but being a part of the community. We participate as much as we can in the community. We've, we've got employees who donate their time to the YMCA, to uh, different um, community-based boards and, and commissions and committees. Uh, we try to do everything we can to be a part of the community that we're in. And, you know, Edmond has been a great fit for us for, for the past 25 years. Pelco uses something called Work Keys, a skills-based assessment test used to help identify both aptitude and strengths. Okay. Ernest Brumley is a manager at Pelco. They had it set up for managers. Um, I thought it was a great idea and let us know where we stood, you know. Um, a lot of us have been out of school for a while and on some of the the pages they had, you know, it, it kind of kicked you back on your math skill levels, things like that. Kind of let you know on that level of just how much either you retained or forgot. Belco helps keep communities safe and signaling drivers is far from the only role traffic lights play. Pelco's role in the traffic signal hardware industry, you know, seven, eight months out of the year, we're just a small piece. If you have a hurricane that hits, you have a tornado that hits and, and goes down the middle of a, a major street or avenue, um, it can do some serious damage, obviously, to um, your intersections, your traffic control equipment. Um, while tornadoes aren't that big a deal, I can tell you that hurricanes are, are a really big deal to us. Um, if a hurricane hits the continental United States, it's not uncommon that whether it's a city, a county, or a state, they may need anywhere from two or 3,000 assemblies to get intersections back up and running to as many as 40 or 50,000. And it takes a lot of dedicated employees to handle those kind of numbers and an innovative management style. Our workforce at, at Pelco is just phenomenal. The, the personal skills, the technical skills, the dedication of the company that they have shown and, they, and, and has grown through that workforce over the past really six, six and a half years since we started um, on our lean manufacturing journey has been phenomenal. Um, we were a, a very traditional manufacturing company. Um, a lot of old school thoughts and when we went down the lean path 
Um, it started changing everybody's world. And we have been able to greatly um, change the whole mindset of our, of our employees. And they've, they've really embraced it. Um, when they saw that we were serious about listening to them and allowing them to help us identify problems, help us identify solutions, and then go implement those solutions, um, it was amazing how quickly people came on board. Keeping traffic moving and a business prospering.